Oh my goodness, dude. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are back on the Ferrari 458 GT3 conversion project for first year warranty services. And today we're actually gonna start mounting the front end of this wide body kit, probably starting with the fenders, then we're gonna move on to that bumper. And there is gonna be a good bit of cutting, so we're gonna chop some of this Ferrari up. So let's go ahead, grab some of our tools and get started. So we cut off our first piece of this Ferrari and uh, cut off pretty easily honestly we cut right around the actual welds itself so uh, these pieces are reusable if we need them so <laughs> may use these for our far I don't know because maybe our tips are bent but for now we did chop it right here and then just cut the welds off right here I don't know if we need to remove these yet so let's go ahead and see if our fender will actually like mock slide up, up in there let's see it dude here you go it should be able to slide in there Maybe. a I'm lot just more. I'm about this, this piece right here and the windshield wipers. Oh yeah, I believe we're gonna have to cut that like right there for it to just slip right in. Cut that out. But that should slide into there or we may even have to chop it like that. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, we don't know yet 100%, but let's go ahead and actually remove our windshield wipers, uh, the actual mechanism itself so we can get this thing in as much as possible. fender is almost there but we are running into this hood hinge as you can tell we were thinking about trimming up this fender removing some of this carbon that way it could just slip right in there but we actually brought in our gt3 hood this sucker is quite expensive it looks absolutely amazing and we were thinking about how we should mount it up to the original hood hinges but i don't think that'll be possible because as you can tell the hood is about an inch thick for that thread and that bolt to go into it but this one is about a quarter inch thick and there's just no way to put a thread in it. Yeah, that's way too thin. Yeah. But that means that we can go ahead and remove the entire hood and the hood hinge assembly. Because, and also this bracket too, yeah, right? Yeah, because we're not going to be using these hood hinges. We looked up some pictures of the actual GT3 race car and they use four hood pins. Two in the rear, two in the front. That's and, probably why it's so thin, yeah, right? Probably, yeah. You're going to put a hood pin right there. And we are going to have to fabricate a few areas for the hood pins to actually sit on or the hood to sit on. But that'll be later. Right now, let's go ahead and remove this entire bracket. There was no reason to really cut this stuff up. So that side's gonna be a lot easier. So let's go ahead and remove this hood and mount our first fender. to see how well it matches up with the fender that we just threw on here dude it looks really good it lines already. up pretty well go ahead and kind of push it back we only did one bracket at the bottom we kind of had to 
make a little aluminum angle bracket there but look at that gapage dude pretty dang good looks really good but before we can actually go ahead and bolt everything on we need to do that fender too but right now we're actually gonna throw this bumper on and see how well it lines up with this fender let's do it Alright, so we just quickly threw on this front bumper and it looks absolutely amazing. The fitment is pretty dang good around this headlight. Everywhere else it fits amazing, except for one area right here with the fender. It is kind of fitting quite odd. I'm actually in contact with a few people that installed this kit and actually worked with the Ferrari uh, race team themselves. So we're still trying to figure that out. But in the meantime, we're actually going to go ahead and jump onto the other end and cut out that bracket and install the passenger side fender. Alright guys, so we actually just paused for a second because I actually just broke my iPhone. Because ever since we started the YouTube channel, this is all we've been filming on right here. The iPhone 7 Plus, which was amazing. But now I got the iPhone X Max, so it should be a little bit better quality. What do you think? I mean, the name says it all. The Max name. like a dog, you know? I was hoping to get the iPhone 11. <laughs> Max like the dog, that's right, man. That's It's going to perform amazing. I was hoping to get the 11, but it's not out yet. So let's get back to work there and finish up that wide body kit, right? The front end at least. Let's go ahead and try it. Get it done. Right, guys so we just actually mounted that fender and right now i'm actually making a lower bracket for that fender so it'll mount up just perfect with the door so i'm gonna go ahead i got a piece of aluminum right here about an inch thick so i'm gonna warm it up bend it 90 degrees and cut it and we should have a perfect bracket the fenders with the headlights and with the door everything lines up perfectly just check that out we don't have it 100 percent uh secured on there but we just got it a little bit loose so we can just move it around but as you can tell look at that gap it's a beautiful gap right there perfect dude everything lines up amazing and for this side exactly the same just look at the line dude perfect dude as well over here too the the, the gap with the door in the fender is perfect but we did throw on this bumper and uh, we're having quite a bit of issues with this bumper lining up with the fender itself. As you can tell, if I push that on there, just just a little bit. It's about an inch off right there, dude. Yeah, let, let's go look at this side. I think this we side, we got a little bit closer, but still. Okay, we got it on right there, perfectly around the headlight. Goes all the way perfect around the headlight. And then right there. It's a little, I mean, that's not too bad right there, but then when you get right here, look at that. That's a whole like almost inch or three quarters of an inch off right there. Yeah, and if we do, we did take off the headlights just to see if we can align it, but if we do take off the headlights there's, and we try to put them back together, there's actually gonna be like, like say if I put pull this out to align it with there, there's gonna be like an inch gap here. And if I pull this headlight over here, there's gonna be about an inch gap yeah. here. So there's really no 100% aligning this thing. So what do we come up with? why it's off like this we came up with we talked to a few people actually some ferrari some ferrari racing team people, exactly and they said that it is possible that this these fenders came off a different a racing ferrari and this uh this front bumper is off a completely other racing ferrari so we got two different ferrari parts here and uh which sucks because i think uh they mold the front bumper and the fenders when they make their kit for a, a specific Ferrari. It's all done at the exact yeah. same time. So these are two different times of uh, 
production, uh, production production times time right here. Yeah, so you that's why it's so off. Times, that's why it's off. You can make this 100% perfect. It's just going to take some uh, some, some time, work, some so. work over here. We're going to probably do some uh, fiberglassing, some carbon fiber repairs, stuff like that to get that's, it perfect. That's if we can't get another bumper out here because these bumpers are so rare. Uh, like ten thousand dollar bumpers, is they're just yeah. hard to get. Parts for these GT3s are really expensive, just like the hood or the fenders or stuff like that. Really hard to get. So we're actually gonna leave that for now. Do a little bit of more research, make a few more phone calls. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and grab that hood and throw it on here because I really want to check if the fenders need to be moved in or out, or if everything lines up. And honestly, just want to throw it on, see how good it looks. So let's go ahead and grab it. Check that out. We actually just threw the hood on. Fits up absolutely amazing. It may need to be pushed out just like a hair. Yeah, just a little bit on both sides, but dude, it looks, it looks really sick. good. Lines up really good with the front of the hood over here and the headlights. But we do need to pull uh, this fender out just a little bit, just a hair. Not a big deal, but dude, just the, just the hood alone with the fenders looks absolutely amazing. But other than that, dude, this thing is sick, it's man. It's getting there. Good. It's getting there, dude. The rear end should be pretty, a lot easier, I believe. You know, yeah, I'm saying that now, but I don't know. I'm saying that, but yeah, the rear end, the, we, you know, the front end is the hardest thing. So you got to start with the hardest thing all the time when you're working on cars. So this is what we're ne needing to perfect right now. Once this we is this. our first time actually doing a wide body kit ever. Yeah, a first. We do have a wide body 370, but they already have yeah. a wide body on it. So this is our first time. We're learning a lot in this process. It's it's a lot of fun. Not gonna lie, it's a lot of fun cutting up a Ferrari, chopping it up, and throwing some racing car parts on it. So that's what we're all about: learning new stuff. So let's keep going. Dang, son! Just a little top shot from up here, guys. This is probably all we're actually gonna do for tonight because it is kind of late. And uh, it is a Saturday. It's not a Saturday, is it? It's a Friday. It's a Friday. We're Which, getting mixed up. We're a day ahead, but we're just working so quick that we, we think we're working faster than the speed, day. Speed of day. Speed of speed light. Speed of day. 24 hours faster. Dude, we are moving, but you know what? We're going to probably do the rear end tomorrow, or should we just bring in our Ferrari tomorrow? We haven't decided yet. Yeah, we haven't decided. We're going to dwell on that tonight to see what we come <laughs> up with over a good course of meals, but... Right now, we need to figure out what we're going to do to the front end. We do need to order a ton of hardware. we got to order some of these... Uh, Zeus clips? Yeah, the Zeus clips. I believe clips. this, would you say? Yeah, something like that. They're just... Spinning four on. hood pins? Yeah, four hood pins. And as for the rear wide body, the, this little uh, wide body piece, how do, how do you think we need to get some nice Allen, some wide body hardware to screw it in there nicely? Yeah, so if that, anybody has any recommendations, obviously leave that down below. We yep. appreciate it. Definitely. But we're going to clean our mess up and we're going to catch you guys in the morning. All right, guys. So it is the next thing. What we're actually going to do is actually work on our personal Ferrari because before we start fastening stuff up on the first year warranties, wide body Ferrari, we want to grab some measurements and uh, throw some body panels on, honestly, because before we weld in these frame rails 100%, this is the perfect opportunity. This is the reason why we wanted to do this project is to get some of the parts and some of the measurements of the frame rails. So let's go ahead and throw some of these parts on like the bumper, maybe headlights and see how everything lines up. Guys, we just grabbed our first measurement and it already looks like our frame rails are over just about a quarter if that so let's go ahead and actually grab the other measurement the crosshairs you know what i'm talking yeah, about yeah these ferraris are pretty difficult to find great points but we managed to find two both sides are different measurements but where you can still actually measure with this so yeah let's go ahead and grab this hole right here and see exactly how far off 
because maybe both of our frame rails are over. You know what I mean? Yeah, they should be over together usually because it has that front rebar, so you, it's, they should be over a quarter inch. Let's see, far. let's find out. All right, we got it in there. Dang. Exactly a quarter inch over on this side as well. So both of the frame rails need to go that way. This way, that way. <laughs> no, yeah. That way, because you need to make sure that yep, hole perfect. fits. So. so once we pull these perfectly, about a quarter there, I mean, it's exactly off the exact same on both sides. So we can either pull by this uh, center rebar and they'll both go at the same time. I mean, we just got them tacked in. So it's super easy. The tacks will actually break off if we pull them because they're just super tiny. But right now, um, we already know that our measurements are off by a quarter, but the for, the thing about Ferrari is they have insane Tons. amount of adjustment. As you can see, this hole is huge. So we got about a quarter inch of adjustment. So even if that's off, we should be able to get our body panels aligned. Yeah, and you don't even know, like that Ferrari, it's all aluminum, it could move around. So you never know. Every Ferrari is probably different according to Ferrari standards because they just weld everything yeah. up. Just how we showed you guys when we first got this Ferrari, how their welds look, they didn't look so well. So. Let's go ahead and actually throw some of these body panels on like this front bumper and see how well everything lines up. All right guys, so we just threw the bumper on but we took it back off because we wanted to see how it would look with our headlights. We do need the radiator cages to fully fasten them on but for now we're gonna just use the two fastening points right there. That is our original headlight from our wrecked Ferrari and we do have a brand new headlight from Par Parts. We had this for a while, so let's go ahead and crack it open and see what it looks like. sure is dude that looks good dude. if it's used it's a freaking good used headlight no you can't get them or you can get them used but the crazy thing is you got to match up the headlight to the vin number or you're gonna have a bunch of lights go on in your yeah. dash but you don't want any of that so huge shout out to uh, Car Parts, Parts USA for hooking it up dude yes, go sir. guys if you need any Ferrari or Lamborghini parts be sure to check them out but let's go ahead and throw this headlight up and see how well our bumper fits So we got the headlights and the bumper on. This thing's already coming together. It looks really good. I gotta say, it's a lot easier than a wide body kit. But anyways, dude, I just love the look of it. Dude, you know? looks sick. Next thing is to probably go ahead and throw that hood on. The, hinge, the new hinges that we took off of the wide body Ferrari and yeah. throw on the new hood, see how that thing fits. Yeah, well, we can just throw it on for now because we do have to align our fenders and re-weld all that stuff back together because our fenders are kind of pointed out a little bit and they're pushed in. So we do have to pull on that a little bit and knock it into place. But for now, let's just go ahead and see if the hood will at least uh, sit on top of it. goodness dude it looks so good it's not even aligned 100 percent and it looks really good it looks complete you know what i mean it's we, so the the front end of these ferraris is actually quite simple as we mentioned before yeah quite simple after we got to like looking at that one and then this one and there's actually tons of adjustments and stuff like that so we're probably gonna definitely 100 percent know exactly where we need to weld our frame rails and put all the pieces together but Dude, that is that is that crazy, is insane. It, it, like in a, in a matter of a couple of hours, the whole front end is together and it looks almost complete. As it's you know. not welded yet. It's not There's welded. Still a ton more work yeah. to do. There's underneath them body panels is a lot of work but dude it looks good it's getting closer and closer finally the ferraris coming together all righty guys so we just brought out both of the ferraris out here and they look absolutely amazing just a quick comparison of a non-wide body versus a wide body they both look absolutely amazing they're both coming together but just man look at how aggressive that sucker looks dude super wide dude 
But the spider looks really yeah, the good. The spider's too. gonna look good with the top dropped and all that good stuff. So stay tuned, man. You're gonna see more of the spider getting fixed as well as this getting wide body that's gonna be absolutely epic so make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything also guys be sure to follow us on instagram where you can get an inside scoop there before youtube and if you want to support your boys be sure to visit goonsquad.com copy some merch we got some new stuff up there so with that being said be sure to drop your comments and any advice down below and be sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you guys next time peace